हेलो वेलकम बैक टू फिजियोथेरेपी जुनू आई डॉक्टर विनीता एम पी टी ओथो टूडे आर टॉपिक इज पैथोलॉजिकल गेट एंड दिस इज द सीरीज वन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पैथोलॉजिकल गेट इन दिस दिस सीरीज ओके फर्स्टली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द पैथोलॉजिकल गेट इट इज नेसेसरी टू फर्स्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड नॉर्मल गेट normal walk normal gait so the normal gait video or the gait cycle is in the last gait cycle video you have to watch or next you will start the pathological gait in pathological gait in pathological gait or in a simple walk in order for person to walk the locomotor system must be able to accomplish four things first the each leg in turn must be able to support the body weight without collapsing second one is the balance must be maintained either statically dynamically or during a single leg stance third one the swinging leg must be able to advance to a position where it can take over the sporting role and the fourth one is the sufficient power must be provided to make the necessary limb movements and to advance the trunk next what is the limb because in pathological gait this is the very important thing limb what is the limb limb is just a some degree of asymmetry we can call the limb abnormal movement may be performed for one of two reasons why abnormal movement performing by the patient generally we observe that maybe the subject has no choice the movement being forced on them by weakness spasticity or deformity okay like in neurological cases most of the neurological cases the movement is a or second one the movement is a compensation compensatory movements uh, which the subject is using to correct for some other problem which therefore need to be identified okay next one is we start that first gait problem which is the pathological gait problem this is called the trendelberg gait and we start here our series okay the trendelberg gait what is this first we understand bending the trunk towards the side of the sporting limb during the stance phase is known as lateral trunk bending or ipsilateral lean or more commonly a trend bug gait three things one is the trunk bending you can say or you can say ipsilateral lean or a skull the trend bug gait the purpose of the maneuver generally to reduce the forces in the abductor muscles and hip joint during single stance the trendelberg gait is an abnormal gait resulting from a like defective hip abductor muscles mechanism the primary musculature involved is the gluteal musculature including gluteus medius gluteus minimus muscle the weakness of these muscles cause what what they cause drooping of the pelvis to the contralateral side while walking the gait get, get, gets its name from a german surgeon whose name is friedrich tendelberg he reported in 1895 okay then we see the four condition which, which must be met like the absence of significant pain on loading adequate power in the hip abductors a sufficiently long lever arm for the hip abductors a solid and stable fulcrum in or around the hip joint they are necessary things okay which which 
must be met if we correct the patient the hip joint and its abductor mechanism behave like class 3 lever with the effort and load on the same side of the fulcrum any pathology of the fulcrum load effort or the lever which binds all three will lead to a positive tenderbird gait okay load fulcrum and the lever failure of the fulcrum presents in the following conditions like osteonecrosis of the hip leg calf perhaps disease or developmental dyspepsia or chronic dyslexia dislocation of the hip like chronically dislocated hip secondary to infection like tuberculosis of the hip failure of the lever due to greater trochanteric avulsion second one is the non union of the neck of the femur third one is the coxa vera and the failure of the effort due to polymyelitis l5 radiculopathy superior gluteal nerve damage gluteus medius or minimus tendonitis gluteus medius or minimus abscess or post total hip arthroplasty then we proceed the number of conditions in which this gait abnormally is adopted are like painful hip hip abductor weakness abnormal hip joint wide walking base unequal leg length or other causes what are the pathophysiology behind this the center of the gravity of the body passes midway through the pubic symphysis okay like this center of the gravity passes through the pubic symphysis from here when one foot lift off the ground as during swing phase of the gait cycle the body remains unsupported on that side and the pelvis tend to drop to the unsupported side to prevent the drop the abductor muscles mainly gluteus medius minimus on the supported side contract providing stabilization of the superimposed trunk if there is any damage to the hip and its abductor mechanism due to causes mentioned like any painful hip abductor weakness abnormal hip joint or void base of walking or any lever effort loading any mechanism due to that there will be a dropping of the pelvis on the opposite side of the pathology then we proceed to the evaluation part how we evaluate like our physiotherapy start from our evaluation part detailed physical examination should be carried out to diagnose the condition leading to the abnormal gait other in investigation include like x ray ultrasonography computed tomography ct scans or magnetic resonance imaging like mri to diagnose the primary condition or uh, some way blood test also necessary then we proceed to the treatment part or uh, first we go through the differential diagnosis observation of the patient gait from the side enable the examiner to detect the stride and step length de deficiency as well as motion of the trunk and lower extremity in the sagittal plane including the extension or gluteus maximus large in which the patient thrusts the trunk posteriorly to compensate for weak hip extensors like maximus muscles then the observation from the side also enable detection of the ankle dorsiflexors weakness and foot drop leading to the inability of the foot to clear the ground which is compensated by the excessive lower extremity flexion to facilitate the floor clearance like in the stippes gait or we have to avoid the bilateral weakness or gluteus medius muscle like wobbing gait we have to differential diagnose this and uh, 
by like short limb gait, antalgic gait, extension large gait, high stepping gait or stepping gait. We have to differential diagnose these gait. Then diagnose test. We read x-ray or MRI or CT or maybe blood test. And now is the treatment part. The main focus of the treatment after identification of the etiology involved correction of the etiological factors resulting in the Tandelberg gait and varies according to the pathology. Tandelberg gait by itself via the hip joint. Okay. The appropriate treatment uh, is essential. Patient who have abductor weakness after an arthroplasty requires specific exercise which is like non-weight bearing, standing abduction, weight bearing, standing abduction, side lying abduction, registered side stepping exercises. These are some examples of photographs and uh, these all about uh, the trendel gate in and you have some references if you want there are some references or some new researches thank you so much for watching my video please share like and subscribe my video and uh, if you want any video or any class on any other topic please let me know in comment section thank you so much